all five of them come running back out, screaming. I'm like, what are they saying? And then uh, Dent was all like, I don't know, I can't understand. They were just waving their arms. And it was like, go, go, go. And I was like, Dent, what are they doing? And then I think one of them yelled out, bomb. And I looked at my gunner, and he was like, Jim, I think he said, bomb, we, we need to get out of here. So, so I, I put my Humvee in reverse, and I back up, and I look to my left, and my section chief is already hiding behind the tank. And as soon as I turn, the bomb explodes. So I was well, it wasn't long before winter set in. We had no gloves. We had no warm uh, clothing at all. And so as the front lines moved forward, we moved with it. Well, come Thanksgiving time, I found myself up on uh, North Korea. And first thing you knew, we were up on it in the Chosan Reservoir. And I don't know what the average temperature was, but I know it was at least 40 below and more. Well, it was cold. Well, the Chinese came in there, and so we were surrounded. And so Colonel Fuller, which later became general, he says, the enemy's in front of us, they're on both sides of us, and they're behind us, and they won't get away this time. So <laughs> that got us going. So it and at that altitude, it gets to be 20 to 50 degrees below zero. So we had to be protected somehow from that cold. There's no heat in the cockpit, and uh, believe me, it gets cold. One of the amusing things was that if we went on a long mission, they'd give us a cheese sandwich. Well, a cheese sandwich at 50 degrees below zero <laughs> isn't that much. We found out that if we tucked it under the sheepskin, under our armpit, that it would stay thawed. 